everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Aaron Hendon here with Christine and Company uh, over at Keller Williams. And today on Do the Math, we're gonna look at the math behind the King County numbers. What happened in 2017 and what is likely to happen in 2018. All right, me and Elvis, we're gonna do those numbers with you. Before we get into the numbers, I wanted a quick commercial. If you haven't picked up a copy of Short Change by Shortcuts, my new book on Amazon, 44 surprising ways people rip themselves off when buying or selling their home. Really, the 10, 20, $30,000 that's at stake in this transaction, you know, for you, is either going in your pocket, it's gonna go in the pocket of the person on the other side of the transaction. It's up to you. Pick up a copy of the book today, let me know what you think. Uh, next up, King County numbers in 2017 and what might be happening in 2018. Doo -doo. See you soon. Hey everybody. Welcome back to Do the Math, the King County 2017 version. All right, here's what we've got. These are the numbers for King County in 2017. Light green represents for sale, that's inventory. Dark green represents sold, that's demand, supply and demand. Let's look. If you follow the vlog, you know that last September and October, we said it was a great time to be a buyer because supply outstripped demand. Not unusual. For it to happen in September and October, it happened last October, it happens a lot. There's a glut of inventory, it doesn't sell for the summer, everyone goes back to school. Great time to be a buyer. Great time to be a buyer, September, October. However, September, excuse me, November, December, eh, what happens? People don't put their houses on the market, demand stays stronger than supply, people get multiple offers for their houses, November, December. So whatever myth, People live in, that the only time to sell is the spring, is crazy. Look how much closer supply matches demand there. It's not close, okay? Now, you do get you do get bump ups, right? But it's not as consistent. The end of the year is consistently like this. This is a great, great graphic for what traditionally happens at the end of the year. What's gonna happen in the spring? I would suspect that January is gonna look uh, worse than this one, there will not be an oversupply in t January of 2018. It's going to look closer to this. And uh, when you get to February, I think you're going to find it's going to not look like that. It's also going to look like this. I think you're going to be in a high demand, low supply moving into the spring. Okay. So if you have, if you're thinking about selling and it's, you have any option about it, I would get to the market before the supply moved up. There's just no counting for, right? That slow, that supply has got to bounce up. And here's why I mean, I think that supply is going to bounce up. If you look at the 15 year trend, obviously you're looking at a all time low, like a you know, steady drop in inventory. While it was steadying off here, right? Watch what happened last winter. Look at this. This is, this is an all time low last winter. The chances of it staying down that low are so small. It's very, very unusual. It's an all time low. You would have to hit a bottom at some point. Some people are going to have to move. Even if it just bounced up to here, you would be better off selling now in the lowest possible inventory situation. If you notice, demand doesn't bounce much higher than this. It's not like demand is ever increasing, okay? Demand is pretty steady. That was a lousy line. But if you just look, that's even a lousier line. However, you can see it. The demand is pretty steady. Supply is what just fell off the table here, okay, at the end of last year. If that bounces back to even here, you will have been better off selling sooner than later, okay? So that's just a couple minutes on doing the math. It's really important that you're always looking for what's happening in the market now, what's happening in the market now, and don't go by whatever uh, superstition or common knowledge you think you already know about the market. Look at what's really happening, okay? Lowest possible inventory level in 15 years, okay? Is that gonna bounce up? You'd think at some point, right? That's ridiculously low, okay, in King County. What's happening in your neighborhood? That's a whole different story. If you have questions about that, I can do this analysis on any neighborhood, any zip code, any area you like, and we could create a plan to get you the most money in the least time. 
All right, thanks for coming by the blog, and uh, we'll see you next time on Do the Math. Thank you.